All right, smart money, smart money, smsfxmentor.com. Let's get it. Y'all know what time it is, man. Today, I'm coming at you guys with pivot points, all right, gang? So I'm going to tell you guys the formula, how to calculate pivot points and things of that nature. But we also have a really cool indicator that you guys can slap on your charts until you can understand and get how to actually calculate them, how to actually use pivot points, how, to, how, how pivot points are actually used um in the correct way right and then i want to show you guys pretty much on the charts on how to use them okay so um nevertheless we're going to go ahead and jump right into it uh don't want to hold you up you guys up too much longer but guys remember this right you do not want to just solely use pivot points and that's just it like that's just your trading strategy right you want to use that as a part of your trading strategy not uh something that you know that you would, that you would just use like okay as soon as oh as soon as it gets to the pivot point boom I'm about to do this as soon as it gets to the pivot, you know that's not what I'm telling you right now but I'm telling you that this is how pivot points work um and with the right confluences you can use these pivot points to be able to create or make money in the market okay guys so let's go ahead and share this and if you want that further detail that that lock in that all right Go ahead over to smsfxmentor.com. I have a free course that you can go ahead and click on and take the free course. Also, I do private mentorship where, you know, step by step, we go over what, you know, pairs to trade, what sessions work for you, um, risk management, proper risk management. We go over a strategy that I use daily to make money in um, and vice versa, right, et cetera. All right, so um, let's go ahead and share the screen. Uh, mm -hmm. and share boom and then boom we'll pull that up all right let's get it so all right so this is the indicator that you can use as you guys can see the p you can see the r right so resistance one uh you can see the s support one right Support two, support three, resistance one, resistance two, resistance three. Now you don't really need all of these resistance points on. Um, you really pretty much don't even need a lot of this stuff on. Um, if you're just looking for pivot points, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and double click on this, go to inputs, and then what we're gonna do is because right now we really want to focus on the pivot points. All right, so we want to get let's clear some of this stuff up so we won't look so crazy. And if we want to, we can keep resistance one and resistance two, okay? I'll just do that just for the video purposes uh, um, only. But, um, you know, you really don't need uh, 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 that as much as you think you would, all right? So what are pivot points? Pivot points can be used in identifying reversals or breakout areas. Okay? Um. Professional traders and market markers use pivot points to identify potential support and resistance levels, right? Simply put, a pivot point and its support resistance level are areas at which the direction of price movement can possibly change, okay? So pretty much a, a change of character and things like that. Like that'll come further down the line, guys. You want to really stick to the basics. The less you know, the more, the, the better off you'll be able to make money or the quicker you'll be able to make money in the market. The more you know, the more you will be hesitant to do some certain things in the market. So if you learn the right way from the beginning, it's, it's a little more easier throughout the whole trading process, whether so you learn so much and you want to do this, you want to do that. Oh, you want to put this, you want to do that. Remember, trading is always about how, how whatever works for you, right? So you have to determine how, who you are as a person. Are you a person that's patient? Are you a person that's fast in and out, right? Are you a person that's, you have to understand who you are as a person. That's why that's the first thing that we go over in psychology and methodology, because just because a trade for me wins doesn't mean a trade for you wins because of the simple fact this right here. So you have to understand who you are as a person. Are you a slow learner, fast learner? Are you a fast pace, slow pace? Are you a, 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 a night person, a day person? You get what I'm saying? All that type of stuff will factor in on the different type of trades that you really want to take because pretty much the market is going to do whatever the market is going to do, regardless whether you were in the market or not. So stop making excuses and understand your, your, your mistakes and then go ahead and try to come in there and fix them, right? So anyways, right? Let's get back to business. Um, So um, what I was going to say 
Uh, so how to calculate a pivot point, right? So the first thing you're you're going to learn is how to calculate pivot points, right? The pivot point and associated support and resistance levels are calculated by using the last trading sessions, right? Open, high, low, and close, right? So you can use the last trading session or you can use the last daily high, low, and close, right? Um, if you're in my group, you already know how we break things down. We do, we, you know what I mean? Top, mid, bottom, right? We already do that regardless, okay? That middle point being that pivot point, which in between that measurement of that top and that bottom is either where price is, is the price going to stay below it, right? And then start going to the downside or price is going to stay above it and start going to the upside. So it's pretty much like simple. It's like almost like simple math or simple, whatever you want to call it, right? But it's literally calculating. It's it's a lagging uh, indicator or a lagging momentum, right? Because at the end of the day, it's always using prices that from the previous market. So if price haven't really did nothing in the previous point, then it really won't get to show you any uh, information or data and in, in obviously in the ongoing. But we using the last point of the last time it opened or closed and that's how we're determining you know whether price is going to continue to go up or continue to go down okay uh so how to use paper points um for range trading uh the simplest way to use paper point levels in your forex trading is to use them just like your regular support and resistance levels okay so just like good old support and resistance, the price will test the levels repeatedly. All right. So as you guys can see multiple times, um, certain points, just like uh, if this was a support point, how price retested like, test this point multiple times, 67,000 before pushing up to the upside. So that's pretty much what you'll do in the same, uh, in the same, for instance, when you're trading, um, when you're trading these points right here, right? So, uh, let's just say I'm trying to find you guys some good examples. Okay, so like this resistance point, right? So uh obviously this was a resistance point for the previous the previous day, but uh on the day next it was it was a uh, a pivot point, right? So obviously it came and retested, retested this resistance point, stand above it, right? Then stand above this pivot point, and then obviously price finally broke out and got uh, and went above um uh, that particular point. Just like here, uh, price got to this point, hit this resistance level or this pivot point multiple times before obviously never being able to break this pivot point and pushing down to the downside. Um, we can go on and 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 on. And on and, but you feel me? You're just pretty much looking at the previous day and determining what's going to happen next because a lot of this, these lines right here wouldn't have happened yet until obviously price did whatever it did on this point on this end so this resistance this pivot and this support obviously price came down to this support hit it multiple times one two three four five six times before pushing back up same here hit this resistance point retested it retested the resistance point again obviously broke back underneath that resistance point and pushed back down um and so boom here's the indicator let me show you that first thing first my bad um you want to go right here and, and you want to type in pivot point standard. Okay. So when you come in here, you'll type in pivot point standard. It should pop up. And what you want to do is you want to start. Okay. So when you want to start, so you'll be able to come right back to this pivot point. So then more than likely, guys, this is the secret sauce to the pivot point and to the support resistance, all that. Right. But this is the secret sauce to the pivot point. More than likely. Okay. When you see price going, um, um, uh, past a certain pivot point, like like going past the pivot point without hitting that pivot point is is more than likely to continue in that direction. Okay, um, um, same thing vice versa. If it's going to the upside, okay, if it's going to the upside and you see price going to the upside and it pretty much see like this is a consolidation week. I don't really want to get off into the consolidation week. You have to understand that as well. But just like here, this is a perfect example. So price pushed up right here, boom, 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 and you see how it kind of like did not really get so this next pivot point it really didn't get involved it really didn't really touch the pivot point it kind of just like blew right through there so more than likely when price is going up and it does not really interact with the pivot point because if it interact with the pivot point it might consolidate then go up but if it does not interact with the pivot point at all more than likely it's going to continue to push up through that pivot point okay um so see how coming down here boom it came down here, right? It kind of hit, hit it kind of hit that pivot point. Then it wanted to retest that pivot point before continuing to go down. 
as opposed to if if right here, obviously you see it did not hit the pivot point at all and it continued to go down smoothly. All right. Um, here the same thing. Um uh, Obviously, it came back up to that pivot point and didn't want to retest that pivot point. So not all situations are the same. It's just the probability in when price goes past that pivot point or when price shoots through that pivot point. This could have been some type of news or something like that. So where it could have shot through CPI, um, N uh, NFP, it could have been anything, uh, any of those, right, to where um, uh, FOMC, all right to where a price pushed straight through there but more than likely like i said see how i pushed through here and then it hit that pivot point then it wanted to retest it multiple times retesting it multiple times then pushing up right as opposed to um as opposed to here where it uh barely hit the pivot point right here right barely hit it just kind of like did not interact with that pivot point and then boom it kind of sh shot straight up continued up um, so that's what you kind of look for. Same thing here. It did not really, really interact with this pivot point. So then boom, it shot straight up. Um, it re it, it kind of hit this pivot point right here. So it reacted and then it got, and then it broke it. Right. Um, but that's how you pretty much use it. Right. So if price is above pivot point and stand above the pivot point on the, on the next day, then obviously maybe it may send a bullish signal where you might think, okay, price might continue to go up and the probability of price going up is more greater than going down. Same thing, vice versa. If prices stand below that pivot point the next day, uh, obviously from the previous, um, from its previous form, then um, more than likely it stand under there, stand under there. More than likely, the next time your your trading session or you're finna trade, obviously price is going to continue to go underneath that point. And so that's pretty much how you want to do it. And then how you want to calculate it, and just in case you don't want to use the um, the um, um, the EMAs. I mean, I'm sorry, in case you don't want to use uh, the indicator, um, all you would do is the previous session or um, the previous session or the previous day or whatever, right? You want to look for the high of that day or the high of that session, the low of that day or the low of that session. And then you will like, and then you will want to find that median point, right? So that median point would be obviously the halfway mark in between both of those from, from that high and that low. And then what you want to do is you want to either see price stand up above that point, and then you will want to take price to the upside, or you will want to see price stand below that point, and then you want to see price going to the downside. Now, like I tell you guys all the time, you don't want to just use this as your only confluence, and that's it. And you're just like, okay, boom, that's my confluence. And and I mean, you know, that's what I'm going to do. Every time price gets to pivot point, I'm going to take this trade. You're going to be sadly mistaken and really awoken, all right? And you're going to be in the flat pockets, right? You're not going to have beefy pockets, okay? So you don't want to just do it straight straight off that. You want to be able to use this as a confluence. So, okay, let's just say it takes you five confluence to get in. You want to add this to one of You already got four. You want to add this one as a fifth one to be able to understand when to get into the market, all right? Um, now, like I told you guys before, it's a lagging uh, uh, indicator. So therefore, once you, um, you know, if you enter a, a trade based off just that, and like I said, it's lagging, um, and you don't, and you're not a reaction trader, you don't wait for reactions. You just kind of like, oh, okay, I'm gonna get in now. You're going to lose a lot of money, okay? I promise you. And I'm telling you this from the heart because obviously I've been through these, through, through, through this type of. I listen, I done searched every indicator in the world. I done searched everything in the world. I done did all everything that you can think of from buying courses to listening to people, mentors, everything in the world, right? I done did it. Been there, done it. I'm telling you. Okay. Um you don't want to just use one of anything. And you don't want to just use every and anybody's strategy. And you remember, you got to take something from somebody and then make it your own. So you just don't want to just like look at my strategy and say, boom, I'm going to do this because that fits and work for me as well as that's how the market is traded. And that's what it's doing. You have to understand what works for you and how it works for you. OK, that's MSFXMentors.com. Why do you think I'm giving all, the, all this free sauce for free? Because I want you guys to understand that every single strategy, every single thing works. Now, how does it work for you? Is that what you're going to have to determine? Or like I said, you can come sit down. We do one on one. We talk. We get dig. We dig deep and then we'll get you something set up as far as my ability and what I know how and what would work for you as opposed to 
you know, you guessing and thinking that this and that and the third and the next, right? Um, I used to think like that. I used to be this, that, and the third and the next. And then, like I said, you have to hold yourself accountable. My mentor held me accountable. I had to hold myself accountable. And then once I found out understanding and it clicked, then I understood that what works for me may not work for everybody else. But you'll have a clear understanding before we end our one-on-ones or before we before you're done with my course, okay? Um trust and believe that and then and 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 just just know a person that uh, uh kind of a connoisseur for this i've been searching searching and searching until it finally hit me everything every person is not the same so that's why you got to hear a person out see what they're doing see what their purpose is see what their goals are see exactly what they're trying to do in the market and then you can come up with something simple a nice strategy that's simple the simple stuff work the basics work everything else is extra and that's cool to know what is extra okay People, you're going to hear people call different things, certain names, change of character, this and that and the third, support, resistance, Fibonacci. It's all the same thing. Don't get fooled. Don't get tricked about somebody having a special sauce, okay? We're all literally taking a educated calculation or, or, you know, feel me? It's not a guess. It's a bias. And then we're taking an educated uh, 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 calculation on what's going on or what we see in the market or we're reacting to what's going on and what we see in the market during the times that we're able to look and see what's going on in the market, all right? Can't tell me that you're sitting up and watching the market all day and you know every single session. That's just insane. That means that you're literally losing trades, winning trades. You're not being able to compound your account and do anything with your account because you're pretty much gambling, right? You want to be a, a specific. You want to be able to clock in, clock out, right? Get in, go in, do what you need to do and be done with it, right? So smsfxmentors.com, man. Listen, if that incites you, if you feel like that entices you and you want to be able to learn more, go ahead and click the link in the bio and then go, we'll see you inside. All right, let's get it, gang.